my name is Stephen Lee. I'm the founder of Sermon Audio, and I'm sitting in the middle of Stratton Hall on the campus of Bob Jones University. This will be the location of our Foundations Conference, December 16 to 17, 2021. And I'd like to take a few moments on camera to explain to you what this conference is all about and why you should be here. I've said this before and it's worth saying again, we have probably more tools, more resources, more money, more manpower than ever before. And yet we see so little power and so little real influence on the world all around us. Why is that? We're living in an age of the 24 seven news cycle. There's so much bombarding the church and the Christian devices to distract us, diversions, social issues, to take away the affection of our heart, to distract our attention, to dilute our minds. When the apostles in the early church faced distractions and diversions and challenges in their day, what do we read that they did? Acts 6 verse 4 tells us, we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. They focused on the foundations of ministry. We believe that there needs to be a call that goes out to every church and also to every individual Christian to return to an emphasis on prayer and on the word. So this conference is set up simply as a way to promote those two great themes, prayer and preaching. We are very excited about this year's Foundations Conference as we have worked hard to assemble an incredibly unique lineup of powerful speakers, including Stephen Lawson, Clarence Sexton, Joel Beakey, John Vaughn, Todd Friel, and Armin Tomasian. He spits Luke warm out of his mouth. It makes him nauseated. The word literally means to, to vomit and to throw up. Christ says, I'd rather you be hot or cold, anything but room temperature, where you just blend in with the world and blend in with the surroundings all around you. But this nation has to get desperate. Desperate. This could be the beginning of a great awakening because churches need to be awakened. Churches have gotten into a mode of operation. As a matter of fact, you could take the Holy Spirit out, remove God from the whole picture. They wouldn't even know he's gone in most places. The powerful witness of a, of a living church where the minister himself, where his life is a transcript of his sermons and there's consistency in him between what he is on the pulpit and what he is among the people. And same thing with the elders, same thing with the deacons, same thing with God's people in the church. When that's missing, the church will run out of steam and people will see it for what it is and eventually it'll, it'll dissipate or it'll just be a social club in the end. All the principalities and powers, these angels, they're watching us, they're seeing us. And when we are ordered and structured rightly and God's blessing is coming on churches and coming on homes, it says to us here, unto me is given this message. To this reason that now unto the principalities and powers and heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. Who, who is so angry with him? You know what? It doesn't matter. That's pragmatism. The question is, what are we commanded to go and do? And we are go called to go and preach the gospel and of repentance. It. And Fine. live it. Are you saying I don't live it? No, I'm not saying that you don't live okay, it. I'm I just live saying... it, and I'm here proclaiming it because these people need to hear the good news of salvation. But they won't hear the good news until they understand the bad news. They don't even know when they're not walking with Christ because they've never really enjoyed power with God walking with God, being zealous for Christ. They don't know. They don't know what it is to shut out the world, to get before God, to fast and pray over burdens in your heart. You have no idea. It's like, it's, it's, it, it just doesn't mean anything. 
Christian, Christian, listen to me. If just one of you understands this, go on with God. Press on with God. Understand what it is. Wait on God. Let God work in your heart and you will never forget it. We hope that you will join us for just two days as we immerse ourselves in those two great themes of prayer and the Word, as we endeavor to focus our hearts on the one thing needful. Thank you.